Welcome to this demo. Today, I'm just going to give you a full demo of this capacity management application software that uh, I have developed in Excel. Now, this is a demo of the full functionality, including charts and stats and all the tabs. But if you want to build the essential parts of this system, I mean the brands, if you like, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial with a link in the description. The starting point of every capacity management should be the resourcing. Oops, let me get you to this resourcing tab here first. So this is where you will put the resource availability. You put resource names. We'll see about this color coding trick that I'm using here. And then you put the availability uh, per day, per week or per month. And we'll see this in the last part of the demo, how to uh, configure all this. But let's assume for the moment we are uh, dealing with days. So here you give uh, the daily availability for each resource, resource name, and uh, availability. So here, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the first letter here, and based on the letter, I'm doing a different coloring. This can be configured, and I'll show you how uh, later on in the settings. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, something to bear in mind here is that the, the coloring here doesn't mean availability or not. It means uh, it's an easy way just for you to, uh, to see which resource is not uh, available at 100%, maybe coming from other projects or the likes. Like for instance, this is 100%, it's green, less, it's only, it's 20% uh, here, it's uh, a paler uh, shade of <laughs> maybe a very light green. So this is it. And um, there is a resource over and under allocation. So this is, um, this will be done after you have input your tasks. Um, but while we are on the resource tab, I can just uh, show you how it works, is that you have uh, the replication of the resource list here. And it tells you uh, the over or under allocation, obviously. So when it's uh, minus 50% and showing in red, uh, means that this resource is over allocated. So it's not good. Uh, she has 50%, 50% uh, more than she should here or he in this case. And 50% that means 50% availability here. So there'll be other ways for, for you to check this, but I think this is the the data way, if you like, there's no charts and likes yet, but uh, this is the way where you can have a look at it here. There'll be charts on the other tabs. So once the resource list and the availability is put, the next step is to have a look at uh, your tasks, obviously, so your projects and the likes. And this is where you will put uh, your tasks. And then you will allocate resources using this drop down menu here. And uh, so this is why you have to be careful when you put resource, put the exact name and the like. So this view will be retrieving them here. Uh, I'll talk about uh, those coloring here in a second. Now here, if you just ignore the coloring for the time being, you just put the amount of time that is resource uh, that is required, sorry, for this task. So here I have put 100%. So you need a full resource for those two days. And uh, obviously, you need to if you if you need a, a task with several resources, you need to duplicate uh, the the task. For instance, here, if I just need another resource here, I would just duplicate the task, and I would put another resource here on this using this. Okay, so if you ignore uh, once again the, the the coloring here, so the, this would tell me that uh, you need eighty and fifty percent for that task, and you need two resources on it, obviously. And the like. So this is how it would work. You would just put all your tasks and requirements here. So once you have allocated resource now, this coloring will tell you if uh, it's a go or no go from a resourcing point of view. If you look at this um, legend here, if it's pale purple, it's okay. If it's over allocated, it's a deep purple and it's not okay, obviously. So that gives you a quick overview. Obviously, here this is a bit of a dramatic uh, example where there's plenty of uh, of people not available. But um, oh, this doesn't really improve. Oh, just put ridges here. So that just shows you the way it goes from one to the other. So this is a, a way to quickly identify the, the tasks that are under resourced. And this uh, this uh, this is a Microsoft way of of doing things. So I copied that from them. Is when it's green, that means this, this task is all good, fully allocated, no problem. And when it's red, uh, that means there is at some stage uh, something that is uh, 
uh, under allocated. So here you could be wondering, well, this how, how come this is red? Because all that is uh, as the OK color. But if you if you browse and if you go to the other side, I'm sure you'll come across those. So this is why when you work with a very long project or very project with a lot of, of uh, periods, here um, it's uh, very handy. And that tells you how many periods you are uh, under allocated. So here it's 18. And obviously here we're working on a daily basis, but we could change that as we'll see in a second. Uh, now, of course, uh, as you can put quite a lot of tasks and let's say you're, you're wondering what, uh, you know, if, if John is working on how many tasks and the likes, it, the, you can do that from another tab, but from this tab here as well, what you can do is you select John Edwards here. So that gives you a quick, a quick way to identify where he is working here. John Edwards, he is, he is here. And then it's just a way to identify results very quickly when you have uh, you have a lot of tasks here, so uh, it's uh, very handy, I think. Okay, so obviously here you have all the usual. You have, you have the total work here um, in hours or in days, depending on which uh, period you use. And I think this is uh, pretty much it for uh, the tasks then. So once you've input your resource availability and once you've import your, your task, then it's just a matter of managing uh, capacity and you have obviously several uh, tabs to do this. The first tab and that we're going to review is just the re resource view tab. And this is where you, you look at one resource at a time and that gives you an idea of where they're at. Uh, let me try and find you an example that is a bit more interesting than those. Uh, back to the John Edwards. Okay, we can see that John Edwards, he, he has two resources. <laughs> Sorry, he has two tasks. Uh, first one is to create the project charter and the other one to execute uh, tasks. And he's okay from a certain point, but he's going to be struggling in the next uh, few days. And uh, that, uh, that tells you, you know, when uh, capacity it demands or when it's above demand and the likes. So here, for instance, is uh, yeah, here is... Is, is not good, this is not good. And here it looks like he still has 50% capacity here. In here he has even more capacity here. And um, in some examples, so this is, uh, I'm just gonna go through this quickly because we have a few tabs to view, but you know, has capacity, busy, or allocation uh, above 100%. So here you can say, is available, yes, uh, those tasks uh, are okay, but he still is busy here but it has a uh, capacity so this is taking over the when you have capacity this is the green okay so i hope it all makes sense so uh, here for instance it looks like he is actually uh, on leave or or uh, here i had not available which is leave part-time but it al also could be because no uh, no time has been provided for uh, whichever reason maybe it's forgotten or maybe it hasn't been done so this is where you have 0% and here you have uh, this gray area here. Okay, so this is the, the first tab to visualize capacity. The, the second tab that I'll have a look at is a project overview. And this is also narrowing down on the project. So with, what is a project? The project is all those tasks here. Okay, so that gives you a very high level overview. So you have capacity meets the means. I think this is a very, very useful uh, to present to management or the likes. So work, I'm working on several tasks, but um, but look at my resourcing. I'll be okay uh, for that period here, but here, no, maybe the resourcing, uh, the resource tab is not up to date, and there are a resource that haven't put their availability yet, but it looks like we need to plan for this. And the next few weeks is not going to be exactly plain sailing either. Um, I'm needing uh, people every day, so bear that in mind. Now, if you have up to version two, and this is where I've stopped the, the demo, I think, for the, other, for the other ones, this is where you'll stop. You'll have those four tabs here, resource view, which is sufficient to manage a project. But the version three, something that you don't have a demo on is this one here. So this is really something that, that I've 
shamelessly copied on another very expensive software. Um, and I, I just wanted to, I just, I was just telling myself, surely I can do this in, in Excel. Okay, so this is combining the the three things. This is combining this this thing here, the resource over under allocation, the resource view as well, and the project overview. And so this is combining all this. So for instance, here you have this John Edwards here. This is showing where is that here. It's, it's the only thing, it's not giving the task. So if you want a task, you need to go to the resource view here. But this is just uh, giving you uh, his journey alongside other resources. And, and what this uh, tab does on top is it, it gives you the overall project where you're at. So as a project manager or as a manager, it can be frustrating when you have this scenario here. Um, that means that this part of the project has been resourced. This one is under-resourced but yet you have resource available. So it could be because the resources uh, have different skills, obviously. But this is something very important to manage from a budget point of view. You cannot, you cannot have some resource you know, not being used where some other resources are needed. And this is why I think this, is, this type of chart is really critical for your business and or for your own tasks. Uh, because you need to, you need to work on this. You need surely to reverse this. You need to swap resources. You need to do something. And this is why I think this this dashboard, I personally, obviously, am biased, but think it's it's very powerful. And then you can have a look at this and say, well, there there were resources here, yes, but it's Ron Booth, and Ron Booth cannot really help me with this. So can we you now swap this resource with with someone else? <laughs> uh, okay. So and that gives you an extent. Here the same patrice here and after it's all uh, going a bit of a shambles here from that from that point in time so i know there's a lot of information so uh you can uh, watch this again uh, or do or you know if you if you have the template just take it one step at a time but it's quite powerful i think now uh, before we we close this i wanted to go back to the settings and i thought i'll do that in the end because now that you have a, a good knowledge of this then you can have a look at uh, how to tweak it if you like so i'm going back to the settings obviously you have an instructions tab as well where it tells you roughly how this works but if you go under settings okay here you have the start of task list here so the tasks here this will dictate um the first day here the first day on your dashboard here so settings and you go, you decide on an increment here. So here, for instance, you have day as mentioned here. So 16, 17, 18th of December, 2024. But if I put a month, for instance, all changes to month. So here, December, January, February, March. Now, if I go back to the settings and Go back to D. You see, when you put month, this day increment, this increment is is grayed out. If I go back here and I put D for day, here you can decide absolutely how many days you want increment. So here, if I put seven, which is weekly, thank you, Ben. So tasks, uh, 16, 23, 36. So here, and this is back into the weekly one. So based on the length of your of your uh, project. Um, you need to put that here, but something uh, very important, and, and I apologize if that seems obvious, is once you have said this, as this, this starting date and those increments here I, I carried through every tab, you cannot change the resource allocation here, because this is a resource allocation for that specific period, and if, if you say, if you want to revert back today, obviously this doesn't work anymore, because this is set for the week. It's obvious, but I thought I would just mention it. And so this is re uh, reported on every, obviously, on every uh, tab. Here, 16th, here, 16th, here, 16th, on every tab. This is it. So this is a, 
Now, just to, to finish, um, this is a little coloring trick that I've done that I've seen, I think Google's doing it. So I thought, why not? Um, you notice it's just here. Um, if you have some specific results that you would like to group or it's just based on the first name or the like, so it's easy to, very easy to spot. Um, based on the first, uh, the first letter of the uh, first name, you, have, you can allocate a different color. So here, for instance, if I go back here, um, all the A to E, I've put the color one and the color one is purple. F to P, two and two is blue. So here I have this uh, P, patch rice here is in blue because this color here is, is, uh, is blue. Thank you, Ben, again. Now, and uh, the third one is in uh, amber, orange, uh, lemon, uh, <laughs> uh, yellow. But let's say if I want to give a K different color, I can just do this. And I would give me all the Ks uh, with this color. Um, and, and if I want to put it yellow, and it's, so this is a bit of a gimmick, but um, it could be useful if you have a lot of resources. So that's it. And um, as much and if you want to get started on this, um, you can refer to the, my other video uh, on how to build the, the core of this. Uh, that will tell you exactly how to build this and that. And then if you want to take it further, then you can get the, the, the template directly. Yeah, I have all the links in the description. And I hope you have a nice day.